You don't just sleep to rest, you sleep to clean your brain. And when that cleaning stops, the damage begins, silently, long before you notice. Alzheimer's might not start with memory loss, but with the trash your brain forgot to take out. Imagine yourself drifting into slumber, your eyelids close, your body relaxes, yet inside your skull, an incredible cleansing system springs to life, a network of glowing fluid channels that wash through the crevices of your mind. This is not science fiction. This is your glymphatic system, and it works only when you sleep. A discovery that changed. Neuroscience forever. For decades, the brain was thought to be an isolated fortress, protected by the blood-brain barrier. Every other organ relies on a lymphatic network to remove waste, but the brain seemed shut off. No pipes, no drains, no obvious way to clear out the debris of constant neural activity. Scientists assumed that brain cells simply recycled their own waste or relied on some mysterious, undiscovered mechanism. Then, in 2012, everything changed. Researchers at the University of Rochester unveiled a hidden plumbing system, an intricate maze of channels nestled between neurons driven by cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, guided by glial cells and active only during deep sleep. They called it the glymphatic system, a portmanteau of glial and lymphatic. Suddenly, the brain was no longer a sealed vault. It was a self-cleaning engine. Today, we're going to explore how this system works, why deep sleep matters, and what happens when it fails. All in the quest to understand how preventing Alzheimer's might be as simple as perfecting your sleep hygiene. Inside the glymphatic system, your brain's night shift cleaners. At the heart of the glymphatic system is cerebrospinal fluid, a clear liquid that bathes your brain and spinal cord. Think of CSF as a master dishwasher detergent, invisible, silent, and vital. During wakefulness, CSF serves primarily to cushion the brain and deliver nutrients. But once you enter slow-wave sleep, CSF takes on a new role, waste collector. Here's the process. 1. Influx of CSF. As you slip into deep sleep, CSF is actively pumped from the brain's ventricles along the outer surface of blood vessels. 2. Interstitial flow. The fluid penetrates the interstitial space, the microscopic gaps between neurons, pushing aside cellular traffic to make room for a cleaning flow. 3. Waste pickup. As CSF courses through the brain tissue, it encounters toxic byproducts, beta amyloid, tau tangles, oxidized proteins, metabolic toxins, and picks them up like a sponge soaking grime. 4. Drainage pathways. Loaded with waste, the CSF then drains along paravascular pathways, small tunnels surrounding veins, ultimately exiting the brain and entering the peripheral lymphatic vessels in the neck. From there, waste is carried away to be broken down and excreted. Guiding this entire operation are the glial cells, astrocytes, and microglia, often called the brain's support crew. Astrocytes line the paravascular spaces with specialized water channels, aquaporin-4, that regulate fluid movement. Microglia patrol for larger debris and pathogens, coordinating immune responses when necessary. Together, glial cells ensure the glymphatic rinse cycle runs smoothly. This nightly cleanup is essential because your brain produces an enormous volume of waste every day. Neurons fire billions of times, generating beta amyloid fragments, tau proteins, and reactive oxygen species. If these toxins are not cleared, they begin to clump, tangle, and poison your neural circuits. Why deep sleep is the key to a clean brain. Not all sleep phases are created equal. Rapid eye movement, REM sleep, is when we dream, but it's deep, non-REM sleep, the slow, rolling waves of stage 3 sleep, that powers your brain's cleaning crew. During slow-wave sleep, neurons shrink. Brain cells physically contract by up to 60%, expanding the interstitial space by nearly 60%. Imagine city streets narrowing during rush hour, traffic jams. Now imagine them widening in the middle of the night, allowing maintenance vehicles to sweep through unhindered. Increased fluid flow. With more room between cells, CSF surges into the brain tissue more rapidly, optimizing waste removal. Studies show glymphatic flow can increase by 60% to 100% during deep sleep compared to wakefulness. Metabolic slowdown. Neuronal activity subsides, metabolic demands drop, and the brain's protective barriers become more permeable to CSF exchange. If deep sleep is disrupted by sleep apnea, insomnia, 
shift work, or erratic schedules, the glymphatic system cannot complete its nightly rinse. The interstitial spaces remain constricted, fluid movement slows, and toxins accumulate. No deep sleep, no deep clean. It's as simple and as profound as that. When cleaning fails, the first signs of silent damage. What's the first molecule to accumulate when glymphatic clearance falters? Beta amyloid, a sticky peptide that clogs the spaces between neurons, impairing synaptic communication. Beta amyloid is the primary component of the amyloid plaques found in Alzheimer's disease. Under normal conditions, about 40% to 60% of produced beta amyloid is flushed out nightly. But with fragmented or insufficient sleep, that percentage plunges and beta amyloid builds up day after day. Next comes tau, a protein that normally stabilizes microtubules within neurons. When waste removal stalls, tau undergoes hyperphosphorylation, causing it to tangle inside cells. These tau tangles dismantle the internal transport networks of neurons, choking off nutrient and signal flow, ultimately leading to neuronal death. This double assault plaques outside cells, tangles inside cells, triggers a cascade of neuroinflammation. The brain's immune cells, microglia, detect the accumulating debris and mount a defense. Initially, this response is protective. Microglia engulf and digest toxic proteins. But chronic activation transforms microglia into overzealous attackers, releasing pro-inflammatory cytokines that harm healthy neurons and disrupt synaptic function. The result is a vicious cycle. Waste accumulation, 2. Microglial activation, 3. Chronic inflammation, 4. Neuron damage, 5. Impaired glymphatic function, back to 1. This loop can begin 10 to 20 years before any cognitive symptoms appear. You might be hitting the gym, acing deadlines, socializing every weekend. Yet beneath the surface, your brain's waste management is failing. The rippling consequences, memory, mood, and more. When the glymphatic system sputters, the first casualty is often the hippocampus, the seahorse-shaped structure responsible for forming new memories and navigating space. Early in Alzheimer's, hippocampal volume shrinks, neural connectivity weakens, and even simple tasks, like remembering where you parked or recalling a name, become mental feats. Beyond memory, impaired waste clearance affects mood regulation. Accumulated beta amyloid disrupts serotonin and dopamine pathways, contributing to depression and anxiety. Metabolic health. Poor glymphatic flow is linked to insulin resistance and obesity, as CSF circulation interfaces with metabolic centers in the hypothalamus. Neurovascular integrity. Toxins compromise the blood-brain barrier, allowing peripheral immune cells and harmful molecules to infiltrate, compounding inflammation. The early signs are often subtle. Daytime fatigue, brain fog, irritability, and light memory lapses. These can be dismissed as stress or aging, but they may actually signal a declining glymphatic function and a ticking time bomb of neurodegeneration. A sleep prescription for brain health. Here's the empowering truth. You can optimize your glymphatic system starting tonight. No prescription needed, just a commitment to high-quality sleep hygiene. Prioritize 7 to 9 hours of sleep. Aim for a consistent sleep window every night. Cultivate deep sleep. Incorporate relaxation techniques, meditation, gentle yoga, or a warm bath to ease the transition into slow-wave sleep. Embrace side sleeping. Studies in rodents demonstrate that lateral sleep positions improve glymphatic clearance by up to 50% compared to supine or prone. Reduce screen time before bed. Blue light from devices suppresses melatonin, fragmenting deep sleep stages. Optimize sleep environment. A cool, around 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius. Dark and quiet room minimizes awakenings and maximizes slow wave duration. Limit alcohol and heavy meals at night. Both disrupt deep sleep and constrict glymphatic flow. By treating sleep as your brain's nightly maintenance window, you give your mind the chance to flush away toxic buildup, reduce inflammation, and preserve the integrity of synaptic circuits. Every night you honor your sleep ritual, every meal you choose for inflammation reduction, every jog, every puzzle, and every mindful breath. You're reinforcing your brain's ability to take out the trash, if this deep dive has shifted how you think about sleep, memory, or brain health, show some love, like, share, and subscribe. Which habit will you commit to tonight so your future self stays clear, 
bright, and unstoppable. 